What's up guys? This is John from The Game Tanker. Um, today is a little bit different video. Um, so what we are going to be talking about, and I didn't mean to switch that, but um, so I got a, some would call it a thin client, um, basically it's a mini PC. Uh, got it for free a while back, and um, I didn't have a power supply, so I got a power supply for it. wasn't very much, um, and luckily I got some laptops along with it, and they use the same proprietary um, charger, so I can actually use one charger with both of the uh, the systems. So this is the uh, the Lenovo Think Center. So this one right here, um, but mine, uh, this one has the i5 4570T processor. Um, it does go up to 3.6 gigahertz. I've got 16 gig of RAM in there and a 500 gigabyte um, mechanical drive. I am going to upgrade that to like a 2 terabyte SSD. Um, the Wi-Fi doesn't work on this one uh, for some reason. I don't know why, um, but I was using um, a Linksys little dongle. Works great. And uh, right now, I've literally got it uh, probably five feet from my router, so I just have it hardwired for right now. And it came with this nice little mount um, up here on the wall show you if I could even turn this around anyway it's right there right there on the wall that little square now that I almost broke my camera okay but anyway um, so I got that mounted on the wall I've got a KVM switch because I am using um, one keyboard and two, uh, sorry, one keyboard and one mouse for two systems. Um, so that works out pretty good. I got that on the wall as well. Um, I do have pegboard, so it makes it nice and easy to, uh, to put everything up. But make a long story short, um, I am using this as a Raspberry Pi emulation station alternative. And this is actually really fucking good. Um, this one can run Sega Saturn at full speed. Um, it can run... Uh, haven't tried Jaguar yet. It may struggle a little bit with that, but we're going to try it out. Um, not on here, but uh, it runs all the other classic stuff, no problem. Um, you know, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis... Uh, master system all that kind of stuff plus we can set up virtual machines to run um, old DOS stuff uh, we could run MSX uh, just all kinds of stuff um, I'm working on my GameCube um, collection so working on the GameCube collection got it right here um, now I do own a lot of games back here physical but with disk rot and everything else um, it's easier just to have it like this and uh, what's cool is the system um, it doesn't have built-in Bluetooth but I got one of those little Bluetooth dongles and I can use my Series S controller to uh, to control it and um, so this is this is my collection so far. Uh, pretty decent collection. Um, wanted to get like the normal stuff, you know, uh, the Final Fantasy Chronicles. That one runs like total garbage. Um, I've got to tweak my settings and stuff some more, and I may not ever get that one running right. Um, I've tried a few others. Um, Ikaruga runs really good. Um, that one's really fun. You can literally get that on anything anyway. Um, you can buy it on Nintendo Switch. Uh, it's just one of those games that 
everybody loves. They ported it to literally everything. Um, got Kirby, uh, which I'm surprised they only have this one on GameCube. Um, they don't have any other Kirby games, which is weird. But uh, Luigi's Mansion, of course, uh, Mario Kart, which I've got over there. Uh, the Medal of Honor games, the Metroid games, uh, Prime, Prime Echoes, Paper Mario, got over there. The Pikmin games, the Pokemon games, you know, just stuff like that. Um, and of course I wanted to get the Zelda games. But that is my collection on that. Um, I was trying to find a way to get my, my Vita games dumped. Um, unfortunately, I can't figure out how to do that, um, but I use uh, RetroArch to run all my classic stuff, and so I've got all the Ataris, I've got PC Engine, uh, the Game Boys, you know, GameCube, um, actually I'm going to be running GameCube off of the other one, Nintendo DS, um, 32X, Dreamcast. I've got a whole bunch of games for Dreamcast, but they're not showing up in here. Um, so we may run that off of something different. And um, and in all honesty, my Dreamcast over there, I've got a, a GDEMU in it. So, um, I mean, I can play that stuff. Same thing with Nintendo 64. Um, I've got the games on here, but, you know, I can actually run them off of real hardware as well. It's just nice to have all this stuff in one place. Um, I've even got PlayStation Portable, PSP. Um, it runs PlayStation. Excellent. Haven't tried PlayStation 2 yet. So, um, I just wanted to show you that. Um, it's all pretty cool stuff. And, um, you know, I'm going to be testing it out some more. And hopefully, uh, hopefully I can give you an update so uh, we can see what will run and what won't on this system that way if you guys want to pick one of these up they're under $200 um, to pick up one on uh, Amazon you can probably find them less than that on eBay but uh, it's a nice alternative to a Raspberry Pi and um, you can actually like run stuff off of this you can use it for a desktop uh, this will mount to the back of a monitor so you can make like a uh, an arcade that you put on the wall and you can fold it down you know it's something out of the out of the way that would be pretty cool but um let me know what you guys use for your emulation and um just want to thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this if you did leave a comment and a like and we'll talk to you guys soon